Are you a computer science or IT engineer looking for government jobs without GATE CSE score? If yes, then you've landed on the right video. In the upcoming minutes, we will traverse through an array of opportunities that lie in the public sector for those who've mastered the realms of computer science and IT. Our focus will be on jobs that don't require a GATE CSE score, breaking the myth that such scores are a must for a government job. We'll be delving into various sectors including the public sector undertakings, defense, telecom, railway, metro railway, and other government sectors. Each of these sectors holds a plethora of job opportunities that can propel you towards a stable and rewarding career. So whether you're seeking to work in the strategic defense sector or the bustling telecom industry, we've got you covered. Stay tuned till the end to understand all your options. Let's dive into the world of public sector undertakings or PSUs. These government-run corporations are a treasure trove of opportunities for computer science and IT engineers. Imagine working as a scientist or engineer at the Indian Space Research Organization or ISRO, contributing to the nation's space exploration missions. Or perhaps you'd prefer being a deputy engineer at Bharat Electronics Limited or BL, where you could be developing state-of-the-art technology for the nation's defense. At National Institute of Electronics and Information Technology or NILIT, positions like Scientist B or Technical Assistant await you. You could be at the forefront of research, driving innovation in the field of electronics and IT. And these are just a few examples. From Dedicated Freight Corridor Corporation of India, or DFCCL, to the National Remote Sensing Center, or NRSE, PSUs are filled with an array of jobs, each with its unique roles and responsibilities. PSUs offer a myriad of opportunities for computer science and IT engineers. Now, let's explore the opportunities in the defense sector. This sector is a vast field teeming with numerous job opportunities for computer science and IT engineers. Let's start with the Indian Army. Known as the Junior Commissioned Officers in Information Technology JIA, this role allows you to work on strategic technological advancements and manage critical information systems. Moving on, the Indian Navy also recruits IT professionals as Junior Commissioned Officers in Naval Information Technology JN. Here, you'll be responsible for maintaining and developing naval communication networks. Next up, the Indian Air Force, or IAF, employs engineers to work on its advanced aviation technology, ensuring the smooth running of communication systems and other critical operations. Finally, the Indian Coast Guard, the maritime arm of our defense, also offers roles in IT and computer science. They work on the development and maintenance of the Coast Guard's communication and navigation systems. The defense sector provides a platform for serving the nation while building a strong career. Moving on to the telecom and railway sectors. These sectors are large and integral parts of our country's infrastructure. They offer a plethora of opportunities for computer science and IT engineers. The telecom sector, for instance, houses Mahanagar Telephone, Nigam Limited, MTNL, and Bharat Sanchar Nigam Limited, BSNL. These public sector units are always on the lookout for tech-savvy individuals to maintain and enhance their expansive networks. As an engineer in these units, you'd be tasked with ensuring the smooth operation of telecommunication services, which are the backbone of our digitally connected society. On the other hand, the Railway Recruitment Board, RRB, offers positions that involve the application of IT in managing railway operations. These roles may encompass tasks like developing and maintaining software for ticketing systems, train schedules, and other railway management functions. The telecom and railway sectors offer a stable and rewarding career path. Let's delve into the metro railway sector and other government sectors. The Bangalore Metro Rail Corporation Limited and Noida Metro Rail Corporation are two major players in the metro railway sector. They offer a variety of roles from system administration to network engineering where your computer science and IT skills can be put to great use. Moving on to other government sectors, the Delhi Development Authority, Space Application Centre, Securities and Exchange Board of India and Teacher Recruitment Board of Tamil Nadu are some of the entities that hire computer science and IT engineers. These organizations have diverse roles that range from data analysis, software development, system engineering to teaching roles in the field of IT and computer science. 
These jobs not only provide a secure and stable career, but also allow you to serve the public and contribute to the nation's development. Remember, these jobs are not restricted by your GATE CSE score. These sectors provide vast opportunities for growth and development. So these are the government jobs available for computer science and IT engineers without GATE CSE score. As we have seen, there are a plethora of opportunities available across various government sectors. From the public sector undertakings to the defense sector, the telecom and railway sectors, the metro railway sector, right up to a multitude of other government sectors. Each one offers a unique career path for those of you with a background in computer science and IT. In the public sector undertakings, we have discussed a wide array of organizations such as ISRO, BL, Neelit and many more, each offering different roles like scientist, engineer, deputy engineer and technical assistant, among others. For those inclined towards serving the nation, the defense sector offers roles in the Indian Army, Indian Navy, Indian Air Force and Indian Coast Guard. These roles not only provide a sense of purpose, but also come with numerous perks and benefits. The telecom and railway sectors also offer a plethora of opportunities. Organizations like MTNL and BSNL in the telecom sector and RB in the railway sector are always on the lookout for bright tech-savvy individuals. Similarly, the metro railway sector with organizations like BMRCL and NMRC and other government sectors including DDA, SAC, SEBI and TRBTN all provide unique opportunities to carve out a niche for yourself in the government sector. So, as you can see, the opportunities are vast and varied. It's all about finding the one that aligns with your career goals and aspirations. Do your research, understand the job roles, the organizations and the sectors they belong to. Weigh the pros and cons and make an informed decision. Your journey doesn't stop at just finding the right job. It's about growing and learning in that role contributing your skills and knowledge to the organization and ultimately making a difference in your own unique way. Remember, every job is a new opportunity to grow and learn. Choose wisely and give your best shot. Good luck!